Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the arcade stitch. Now the arcade stitch uh, is a stitch that's been around for a while and it's fairly recognizable uh, due to its fairly unique pattern. Uh, it looks like a solid piece of fabric when it's worked that basically has these little holes that are kind of cut out from it. So it has a very unique design. Uh, it looks the same on the front as it does on the back. It's quite a fun stitch to work and it's worked uh, using a variety of chain stitches, double crochet stitches, and single crochet stitches. So today uh, grab your hook and your yarn and uh, let's crochet the arcade stitch together. Thank you so much for joining me and while you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with uh, crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. So to work this arcade stitch we're going to start by making a foundation chain and you're going to chain a multiple of six stitches plus two stitches. So today for the tutorial I'm going to chain a total of 26 chains. There's 10, 20, 26. Next for row one, I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook, so count in from your hook, one, two, single crochet in that second chain and in the next chain. You're then going to chain three, skip three chains, one, two, three, and work one single crochet stitch in each of the next three chains. You're now going to repeat chain three, skip three, and work one single crochet stitch in each of the next three chains. You're going to continue that all the way across to your final five chains and you're going to chain three, you're going to skip three, and then you will work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So continue that all the way across your work. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row two, you will single crochet in that first stitch, skip the next single crochet stitch and work five double crochets in the next chain three space. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch. So you're single crocheting in the middle single crochet of the three down below. Skip the next single crochet stitch and work five double crochet in the next chain three space. Skip the next single crochet and work a single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across to the very last stitch where you will work your final single crochet stitch. At the end of row two you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Next, you're going to single crochet in that first stitch, then chain two, skip the next double crochet stitch, and work three, uh, one single crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. 
chain three, skip the next double crochet, the next single crochet, and the next double crochet stitch, and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain three, skip the next double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet stitch, and work one single crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. And repeat. You're going to do that all the way to the end of your row where you will chain two and work one single crochet stitch in that final stitch. You will then chain three and turn your work. For row four, you're going to begin by skipping that first single crochet stitch. This chain three is going to count as a double crochet. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches in that first chain two space. Skip the next single crochet stitch and work a single crochet stitch in the next. Skip the next single crochet and now work five double crochet stitches in the next chain three space. Skip the next single crochet and work single crochet in the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next single crochet, work five double crochet stitches in the next chain three space. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final uh, chain two space where you will work three double crochet stitches in that chain two. At the end of row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row five, you're going to work one single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to chain three, skip the next single crochet, uh, double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet stitch, and work one single crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat, chain three, skip the next double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet, and work one single crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. And when you come to your final uh, five stitches, you're going to chain three, skip the next double, single and double, and then work one single crochet in the next double crochet and a single crochet in the top of your turning chain three. At the end of row five, you are simply then going to repeat steps two, which was this row here, through to five. And you can repeat rows two to five for the length, uh, the desired length of your pattern. And that's all there is to this fun stitch, the arcade stitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.